What's up guys, this is Crowbar, and today Crowbar is ready to play some more of Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. And we are a few levels into the first game now. Uh, so we're just gonna keep on rolling. Probably gonna be keeping these uh, episodes a little bit shorter than normal. Because um, I got a, ni a, a bunch of really nice breakpoints in between each level. I say that, oh, of course. I say that and we are now on the first run at the camera level of our uh, of our time together. I don't know if this is a chase level or if this is a boulder level. I think the chase levels didn't show up until the next game. Yeah, boulder level. Okay. Alright, let's see how we do. Broke it again. Okay, that was, a, that was just a warm-up. I've got to remember to jump on those stupid... Wampa crates. I know it's gonna toss some boxes in here at me at some point. God, this looks so nice. This is one of those things where it's like the designs are so simple, but that makes them very, very easy to polish. Um, so you just get this really like pleasant place to be and like a little furry animal guy running around doing stuff and look at that sunlight that's gorgeous it's like that's the kind of thing that just like on in a, in a regular game uh, I say regular game just in any other game it's, it's kind of like oh yeah whatever it's sun but in this one it's just kind of like oh that polish though it's so pleasant and nice to look at and seems like a fun place to be you know minus the terrifying crushing boulder coming away. I think this is the exact level that's in Uncharted. Get those boxes. Which means we are coming up to the exact point where uh, I kept dying over and over and over. I got all the boxes! Fucking sweet! That's our first box gem. Yeah! Perfect! <laughs> What'd you pull that gem out of? Those are sweatpants. They don't usually have pockets on the back. That's uncomfortable. Let's move on. Oh, so cute. What's up, Baku? See your eyebrows. Wampa Islands. I will say the loading times is a little annoying, considering... I mean, I... Yeah, I, I mean, they upped the quality of it a lot. I'm sure they had basically remade the game from the ground up sort of thing, but... Uh, yeah, we got a gem. I don't really know. Uh, once you get the gem, you can do the time trial. I don't know. I just, yeah, I guess you can just go back to the time trial whenever. Let's keep going. Uh, I, I mentioned it last time. I'm probably gonna change um, Stormy Ascent. Is that, what, is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably gonna save Stormy Ascent till the end, either of this game or like the whole thing, because I imagine. It's gonna be kind of ragey, um, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Or maybe it'll be one of those things where it's like it was hard for '90s era games, but it's not really the same thing anymore. We'll see. I hope we've got that date right. I feel like Crash was the '90s. Three face tokens to unlock. A oh, okay, I gotcha. They took out her name. She's just a face. I can't remember her name though. I think it's like. It starts with a C, I think. It's not Coco, though. Like Clarissa or something? I don't know. The female bandicoot, as Cortex said. Wow, that water is pretty. Did you fall? No. Okay, clovers fall, leaves move. And bandicoots, apparently, don't swim. Maybe I'll pop up like Bandicoot facts as we go through this stuff. I wonder if I, I, I have to imagine that Wampa, Wampa, Wampa fruit are real. If Bandicoots are real, maybe it's just one of those like little known things, or like not known outside of, or I guess not known inside of America, because apparently we don't have curiosities about the rest of the world. Okay, so those guys I remember. They're basically an altered version of the ones that have been fighting me so far. You get a second to jump, but you can't kill them. 
Not that you'd really want to, since they're your platform. Alright, so we got two face zone. Where are you jumping exactly? Looks like I've got a safe spot right there, but we're just gonna blow. Oh, I don't like how janky they move. Also, what kind of current is that that pulls them down and back? Oh, you're on a timer. You are not. Uh. Oh, the purple. Like green or something? Oh, jeez. Wasted my dude already. Okay, gem secret back there, but I don't have enough gems yet, clearly. Or maybe I have to get the gem for this level and then I can come back there? I don't know. Not sure how that works. These ones are pressure based, and then that should be my face. Yeah. I like that these basically count as checkpoints, too. 22 boxes. Boop, boop. They're not tiny, which is interesting. Move, move, move. Oh, jeez. Well, that didn't go well. Do I lose a life when I do that, or I just fail the bonus? Looks like I just failed the bonus, so let's try again. In, in that case, I really don't mind these being as hard as they want to make them kind of thing. It's like, as long as you can't totally mess it up sort of thing. Oh, I didn't even think of doing it like that. I don't know why I didn't think of doing it like that. That's way simpler than doing the speedy thing. Sup, sexy? Oh, he's gone. All right, we got them all. I don't. I wonder, I wonder if the. I don't know. If, okay, they totally. That answered my question. I wasn't sure if the crates in that level counted in the bonus towards the overall level. It doesn't look like each level has a bonus world. Okay. Oh, I only missed three, but I think I don't have access to them yet. Ah. Poor Crash. I hate dropping boxes on his head. That's so mean. Well, I wonder... I'm, I'm gonna have to look up if that was a thing in the first game. Or if that's something they added in. Because I, I don't remember that at all. Uh, especially not from the second game, anyway. Ooh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There's a separate thing right there. Oh, it's Papa Papu. Okay, so we're at the end of the first area already. Yeah, so it looks like this is probably going to go faster than I initially thought it would. But I'm alright with that. I, I would like to like make progress on a game for once. Uh, I'm going to save real quick. I probably don't need to. If you load a save slot... Oh wait, am I loading? No, no, no. No, I want to save. Load. Disable autosave back. Okay, I guess I don't have to save? Whatever. Let's just go, I guess. I imagine it saves at the end of each level anyway, so there's no real reason. Body blows don't hurt him. Which I think, if, I think this is the, whoa, he's, he's creepier than he used to be. He used to, he, he always used to look a little goofy. It's the jumping one. Whee! Whee! Oh god. I have to wait for him to tire himself out, but I, I don't remember. Oh no, you can just jump on him. I will say, he does, he looks like a real person, which is super cool. Like, you can see his individual teeth and everything. Is this the whole boss? <laughs> wow, you literally didn't learn anything that entire thing. Woo! <laughs> Sucks to be you, Papu popped. Wow, that pop, that that passes the first boss. <laughs> All those years ago, <laughs> wasn't awful or anything like that. Again, he's just a training boss, but uh... yeah, I mean, I guess thinking back, that's pretty akin to like Spyro. Like Spyro One has like four giant air quote bosses that are like use your attack on him and he dies. <laughs> Like, Torchy, I think, is the first box, boss, and the only thing you have to do is breathe fire on him, like, four times. And then he dies. What's that? What's this thing? Coco's Time Machine. Coco's in this game? What the fuck? Okay, like, that's our first boss. 
That just continues onward. I think we climb up this thing. Or no, maybe we jump islands over to that island over there. So let's see what the hell this is. Do you want her to join your adventure? Sure. Press R2 to swap to Coco. I mean, that's super cute. I love that, actually. Uh, let's play as Coco for a little bit. Oh, this makes me want to, I want to play CTR so badly. I wonder if I if I dug that up and played it on my PS2, if I could capture that. I think I might be able to make that work. I miss that game so much. Smug little mask man. I'll unlock a new path by earning something or other. I don't know what that said. I didn't read it fast enough. Yeah, so th that's another fun thing, which is like... It, it, it's it's one of those things that we would call like cheeky or cheating now, but at the time was like magical and like really clever. Is there are some levels I want to say in Warped? I don't think it's in this game. She's carrying her laptop. That's awesome. Um, where like the forced camera is something you can play with, and a lot of people don't think about that. So there are some levels where like going backwards from the start, especially in uh, in Warped and Two, where you'll find stuff that that's like, hidden just outside of view, sort of thing. It's a little frustrating to think of because, like, oh, like, my character could see that. But by the same token, it's also just kind of, like, playing with the medium. It's a little meta, I guess, and I always just enjoyed it. Woo! Yeah. A face and a mask. Use mask on face. Yeah, we... Oh! Whoa! What's that? I don't remember that doctor. Does I don't So like the the scientist bad guy in in 2 and forward is engine. And he's got like a engine grafted into his head. Oh, did not nail that as well as I thought I did. Um I don't know if it's the same guy and the in the, like in the course of this game he's going to have that happen to him. Oh, that's Right. Oh, okay. I got it and, and lost it. Whatever. Her spins a little. I'm sure I'm sure it's functionally the same, but it looks really cool. Get that face. Get the hell out. Oh, okay, we died. Take that laptop to heaven. Don't want to be bored up there. Ah, uh, that set us back a little bit. Looks like lives aren't really a problem, though. I've still got, like, 20. Yeah, I did that better. I thought maybe there might be something hit up there, but... Oh, okay. I knew that was there. Why did I do that? Tell me why, viewing audience. Why am I stupid? Jabloosh, jabloosh. Okay, doesn't seem like this. So we need to land on that and then jump again. Let's see if we can get all of these this time. Nope. Oh, we already have the Igor though. Or what? Is that his name? Is his name Igor? Am I just personifying that onto? Some poor, nameless scientist man who has nothing to do with Frankenstein or his assistant. Okay, there's a hill there. That is definitely something that I never particularly liked about these games, is the penchant for, like, blind hill jumping is a little annoying. Oh, okay. Doing good. Or well, we're doing well. They could be doing good and well, I suppose, at the same time. They're, they're not mutually exclusive. Okay, I mostly just wanted that to be nice. Uh, so can I land on that? Apparently not. Oh, that's gonna fall. There's our third face for that. I wonder if the fourth, or the third Igor face, or whatever the scientist man face, is in here. Ah. 
Oh, okay. Didn't even get the word precision out before I fell. I'm like a new path by doing something. Boink, 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 boink. Oh no. Oh, but I can still get these. Okay. Boink. Alright. I wonder if those function... I, I think there's a certain amount of wampa fruit in those, regardless of what you do. Woo! Got them. Alright, uh, well, I, I'm curious if they function the way that, like, uh, multi-coin blocks do in Mario. Or, like, hitting them faster gets you more. I don't know. I wow, that was that was sad. Must be some sort of trampoline down there that only bounces up inanimate objects. My shoes at her laptop get some major height. Oh, okay, alrighty. Keep our face. All right, let's find out what this is. I imagine it's another bonus area, just harder. Is it enemy based, maybe. Oh my. That seems nasty. Can't break any of that stuff. Boink. Okay, oh. You gotta jump higher than that. Let's try again. I got a text. But it's not important. Probably ought to mute my phone now that I'm thinking about it. That off, okay. And... Boosh, boosh. Okay. My, I think I'm bad. I think that's what's happening, guys. I think I'm just not good at this. I said it, it loads pretty quickly once you've gone there once. God, that's tough. Like, alternating between jumping high and jumping low is a little weird. I appreciate it not charging me a life every time I do this, too. Okay, high, low, high, low, high. Ah, oh, so close. That's gotta be the end of it with three freaking lives right there. Kaboosh. Alrighty. Gonna run up and. High, low, high, low, high, yes. Life. Apparently, it's not the end. Um. Okay, that obliterated me. <laughs> I thought maybe I could just chill and it would be fine. Well, we learned a lesson. TNT has quite a blast radius. That'd be a fun little game theory thing, actually. Like, how how strong is Crash Bandicoot TNT? Okay, let's just do one. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Yeah! Oh, I wanted to whack him. Oh well, we made six lives out of that, it's not bad. That's probably why I still have so many lives. 25, good god. No trophy for his thing. Whoop, and a whoop, and a whoop. Break some boxes. Oh, close. 81 out of 87. Skadoosh. Oh no, we're gonna use your laptop. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that's so sad. She's like scared. Also, who's throwing these boxes at me? It's like we were counting. You definitely missed some. Fucker. <laughs> oh, come on, load faster. It's just the it's just the hub world. Loads slower than the actual in-game loading. Hogwild. Okay, we got our first running level. Uh, but I think we're going to save it for next time. I'm going to swap back to Crash, because I like Coco, but we're, we're here for Crash. And she'll get a lot of play in... Uh... Oh, cause... can she not... Oh, she can't even do this level. That's interesting. Doesn't have the right animations, I guess. Uh, regardless, she's going to get a lot of play come Crash Warped, because I think she has special levels just for her. So anyway, we're going to call it there for the time being. Um, try to keep these around the same time length. Time length? That's a combination of words I just said. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, we're going to call that good for the moment. So if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. If you want to let me know anything or just want to say hi, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. I always do, at least at this point in time. It's pretty easy. Um, and uh, if you really liked what you saw and make sure that, want to make sure that you never miss a video in the future, click that little orb that's going to pop up here in just a second uh, and join the Murder of Crows and uh, make sure that you don't miss one in the future. Uh, I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging with me for a little while today, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.